Greetings, this is Mike, Whiskey Alpha 9, Papa India Echo with Ham Radio Deluxe. And I wanted to talk a little bit about configuring default labels in Windows. And um, if, uh, if you find this helpful, great. Um, but a lot of people have asked about this topic, so I'm, I'm going to record a video demonstrating some of how this works. While you're here, click the subscribe button down below so you'll keep up to date with new videos as we release them. We appreciate your support. And uh, to get into printing a little bit, one of the things that happened recently, many of you know that my wife and I moved from Texas to Australia, but we brought our computers with us, but we bought printers once we got here. And so our computers were all configured to use letter sized paper. And of course, everywhere outside of the United States and Canada, they're using A4 size paper. So when my wife would go in and print something, uh, she'd have to go in if she was in Word or Chrome and she went to print something, she, the paper wouldn't come out correct. And so she'd have to go into the printer's properties or when she printed in Word or Chrome most commonly. And she would change from letter to A4 and then it would work properly. But then the next time she would go into Word or Chrome, she had to go through the whole thing again and tell uh, Word or Chrome, um, what size paper do you have in this printer? And she said to me, why do I have to keep changing the paper size every time I go and print? And initially I said, I don't know, I, 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 I have no idea. But as I kind of went through this, it's a common thread that we have with label printing. And one of the things a couple customers and I sorted out recently is that it really does kind of matter what your defaults are set to in Windows for your label printer but this is an example just the um, the printer settings on my computer or on my wife's computer were both kind of the same which was we have a, a non-American printer this uh, laser jet printer and it has an A4 letter tray, or I'm sorry, A4 paper tray. And, uh, but the settings in the computers were all set to think that the printer had letter size paper in it. So uh, every time you went to go and print, you had to change this within Word or Chrome or Excel or whatever you wanted to print with. But it wasn't until I figured out that you have to go and change it in Windows so that you never have to change it again in Word or Chrome that um, it kind of connected back to why is it that I have to go and change this within Ham Radio Deluxe every time I want to print labels and the answer is that the label printer doesn't tell the applications or even Windows what kind of label stock is in the printer just like this particular HP, HP Color LaserJet doesn't tell Windows what kind of paper is in the printer doesn't necessarily know what kind of paper you want to print on. So I'm going to do a little demonstration for you about how to change these settings particularly for your um, label printers and so you can set the correct label stock in Windows. If you're having trouble and you have to constantly go back and change them every time you want to print labels in Windows, I can guarantee you that the default label types that you have set in Windows for your label printer are not the same size as the paper that you have in it. So we'll go through that in this example. Okay, you can see I've got a couple label printers sitting here. I've got the um, Brother QL700 and the Dymo Label Writer 450. I'm going to print a few labels. I'm going to change the label rolls just to show how that works, and um, hopefully it'll it'll be useful, to folks. So if I start with just this one and come down to print labels. I'm going to print it on the Brother Label printer first. So I've got that one set here. If I go in and look at properties, it does show the 29 millimeter by 90 millimeter label, which is what I'm using over here. So those match and I'm good to go. So I'll print. And uh, that looks pretty good. So we'll take that. So let's say, for example, I want to change the paper roll and go to a different type of label style. So I'm going to open this up. 
kind of pull this out and um, on the side it tells us what uh, the dimensions are of the label so I'm going to put in a much bigger label this is the um, 38 by 90 so I'm going to drop this cartridge in here and roll it up looks good and now I'm going to go and print again and I'm going to select the 38 by 90 which is here and click print and I get a message here that says I got a problem and the reason is is because Windows does not yet know that there's a different size label in there if I click properties again I'm back to the same label style that was in there before so the label printer itself does not know that there's been a new label type put in there so I'm going to change this to the uh, 38 by 90 and click on OK and then I'm going to print and there we go so that one printed and uh, so that's good and uh, so I'm going to close it out and I'm going to go print again maybe this one and if I print here again I'm going to get the same error message and the reason is is because the label printer still thinks it has the other size labels on them if I go into properties I'll see again that the label size is um, still set to the other label type so change again and then I'll print and that looks good here's the thing logbook is going to print to whatever the default label type is set in, in, in Windows so if I come in here to the search and type printers and I'm going to go to the QL700 and I can see that the label size is defaulted to the size that's not in the printer so I'm going to go change the preferences which brings this up and uh, I'm going to take it back to the 38 by 90 but that's not all I have to click on advanced defaults for some reason there too and those are different and so I'm going to save those as well and then I'll click this to get out okay now I'm going to go into uh, print a different label and I've got the 38 by 90 set I can look at properties but they're going to be correct because we just set them so um, I can click on print and it prints perfectly fine so I could do the same thing with the Dymo and I think the Dymo printer I have to look and see what kind of stock I've got in there that's the um, 28 by 89 this one here and then um, I can check the properties and it's showing the 350 uh, 3252 label which is what I've selected so it should print just fine and it does what if I change the label and these are the 54 by 101 so I'm going to put those in the label printer okay I just hit pause while I was doing the record or on the recording while I was putting these in so these are the um, like I said these are 54 by 101 millimeters so I'm going to pick another one I'll come and print it I'm on the Dymo Labor Writer 450 
I want to find 54 by 101. That's that one. Now, if I print this, I may get an error message or it may just come out with the wrong size on it. So I'm going to go and select the 323 label in properties. 323. So I go to advanced and then find the 323, which I think is up. Uh, oh, here we go. 323. And then I'll print that. Looks good. But once again, if I leave and, uh, and come back to print out a, a different label, let's say for my friend Dave Spolstra, um, it doesn't retain the settings and you've got to set them within Windows. So again, if I come over here and look at advanced, it's going to say 252. I got to change it to 323 and then print. Looks good. If I want to set that up so I don't have to do that anymore, then I simply go into printers. And then I select the properties for the um, label writer 450. I have to come down and tell Windows what kind of label stock I've put in the printer. And I'm going to select the 323. And that's not all. I have to change the defaults. Why it's got to be done in two places, I don't know. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to put in the 323. I'm going to save that. Save that. Get all the way back to where I started. And now if I want to print a label, I can print it without having to change the settings. So looking good. You know, if I go in and look at printer properties and advanced, I can see that uh, the 323 is the one that's in there. The, the moral of the story is, is that um, Hemrio Deluxe is going to print to whatever default printer has been set up in Windows and oftentimes if you change the labels or if Windows doesn't know what kind of label is in the printer it's necessary to tell Windows what what's set there and then things run smoothly from there. Okay so if you found that helpful give this video the thumbs up appreciate hearing from you in the comments below we read them and uh, it's very important to us because we're here to serve you. And you can also take 20% off any purchase of Ham Radio Deluxe, whether it's a new or renewal purchase by using coupon code YouTube without the quotes at checkout. Thanks until next time, 73 from Whiskey Alpha 9, Papa India Echo.